if it's not too hot, people can sit by a campfire this weekend. <gasps> oh gosh. <laughs> make a s'more. They're never a bad idea, right? Even if sure. it is hot out. You don't need a campsite or a big open fire to get the job done either. Here's oh so lovely blogger Audrey Kuth and her special helper Vivian with a delicious DIY. To get started, all you need is some kind of container, um, metal, glass, you know, whatever you can find. I got this at a thrift store for a few bucks. You could also use, you know, really anything. You could easily have even like a baking dish. That's fine too. So just get, kind of get creative and go through your supplies. But we're going to be using this today. And all you do, um, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this project. But I got on Amazon and ordered a set of four of these shaping fuel. Um, they go under like catering dishes to keep them warm. But I thought they might be a really good um, way to kind of heat your marshmallows. So what I did is I, like, I really like gold foil. So um, grabbed this and I just went around the sides of the fuel just so it you know is a little prettier because some of it is going to be showing. So Viv, if you want to help me out here, can you just place this in the container for me? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of find um, one on each edge maybe. How about that? Something like that. And then all you do is grab some rocks. You can go out in your you know backyard and grab rocks. I had um, a bunch of crafting rocks on hand and these also kind of look nice and you know I'm all about the aesthetic. So all we do is just pour these in. So Viv, if you want to help me pour the rocks in just all around the shaping dishes, or the shaping fuels, so just kind of pull and pour them in. And this is a little loud. But this just helps make it look pretty and it also holds these in place. And it's really good for fire safety because the rocks are really good for that. There you go. Dump them on in. So the next step, all you do is you twist off the cap. Okay, so I just use a regular lighter and lit the top of the fuel cans, and it burns um, pretty clean fuel, so you don't have to worry about that. And I'm gonna let Viv go ahead and start getting her marshmallow toasted to her liking. And while she does that, I'm gonna show you another idea if you don't wanna go to the ha hassle of having the fuel and the rocks. Um, you can just get some charcoals, and if you wanna go ahead and heat them on a grill until they're almost white, put them in a little bowl of foil, and then just put that on a flower pot here. You can go ahead and just simply do your s'mores over this too. So that's a really quick and easy way using items you probably already have on hand. These also make really good gifts if you wanna leave your neighbor um, something on their porch. You can get um, cellophane or all I had on, on hand was saran wrap and I just kind of put together a little kit that I thought would be cute. You know, you can leave it on the porch, you know, something like that. So just a thoughtful neighbor gift. Aw, how cool is that? The world needs some more Audrey Keithers in it. I wish she was my neighbor, that's for sure. Amazing.